with boxing, I think a little bit more than MMA, it's a, it's a very intellectual sport for me. It is a big strategy game. You know, if you're not big enough, if you're a 125 pound girl like me, you're not big enough to throw haymakers and knock somebody out. My name is Petey Peterson. I am a junior at UGA. Um, I am an anthropology major. Um, I work as a personal trainer, body pump instructor, and boxing coach at the Ramsey Center at UGA, and I also work as a boxing coach at Kepner Boxing. I'd like to go pro by the time I turn 21 in June, and I do consider that a short-term goal. You know, I, I have to, because if I wait too long, you know, I miss my window, I miss my opportunity. You know, and that's it's kind of a, between my coach and I, um, that type of decision, so he's looking for me to have, you know, all the necessary experience. She's actually was the first person that I had that was with me long enough to win an open division championship. And, you know, I've trained a lot of other boxers, but not taking someone from zero to that that have stuck with me that long. Her willingness to do what she needs to do to get to where she needs to be is what sets her apart from most everyone that I've trained. A lot of, you know, my work right now is I just got to get there. I got to get in the limelight. I got to work as hard as I can to become pro so that I can then start building this name and this reputation. Floyd Mayweather made how many millions of dollars in his last fight and as a female fighter you know, you're lucky if you can make a million over a lifetime of fighting. It's a huge disparity. Look at the wage gap, you know, that's part of the problem that we're dealing with right now as professional athletes between the women's and men's. I think you know, part of the drawing the attention in in order to make the money that we need to make is we gotta advertise. Like, look, I can look like a girl and also be a really good athlete. I need you to respect me for both. 